In this video, I will cover the options that you see within the rain control panel when using the TTM57 MK2. First up is whether the mixer is going to output in stereo or mono on the main output. Below that, you'll see the headphone tone controls. Sliding this towards the left gives you more bass. Sliding it towards the right gives you more treble in the headphones. Below that, we see the USB aux filter resonance. This applies to the filter that is located on the left side of the mixer. Sliding it to the left gives you more of a wider resonance. Sliding it towards the right gives you more of a specific resonance. Click on deck inputs one and two. On the back of the mixer, you'll see phono CD switches. You need to flip those accordingly to what you're using. When you have it set to phono, you'll see a phono sensitivity here, and this number should reflect whatever's recommended for your needle. We'll also see a filter resonance high and low for channel 1 and channel 2 in this area. To the right of that, you'll see USB 1 and 2 record or 3 and 4 record, and you want to toggle between these two depending on what you want the USB stream to record. Below that, we'll see tone crossover controls, and this applies to the high, mid, and low controls on the mixer, 150 at 6K being the default. To the left of that, you'll see Enable USB Insert. Serato DJ automatically turns this on for you, but when this is enabled, you're able to use Pulse Fader DJ effects with the mixer. And lastly, at the bottom here, you'll see Import and Export buttons, and these are used to share all of your settings between control panels and mixers.